Oxford Reading Tree Biff, Chip and Kipper Stories Level 7 Written by Roderick Hunt Illustrated by Alex Brichter Series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brichter Published by Oxford University Press 2011 Hi everyone! This is Miss Tong. Let's finish reading The Broken Roof. Previously, Biff, Chip, and Kipper met with Victoria, Edward, and Will. They both thought the others wore funny clothes. Kipper asked how the roof got broken. Edward said, they didn't know. It was tea time. A lady came out and called the children to go inside and wash their hands. The lady was not their mother, but their cook. The kitchen looked different. Cook made the children wash their hands before and after tea. Then she told Edward to take some tea to the workmen. The broken roof was in Edward's room. The children went into Victoria's room. Victoria had a little room in her bedroom to keep toys. What toys did they have? Biff, Chip and Kipper looked at the children's toys. Chip loved the rocking horse. I wish we had a horse like this, said Kipper. So do I, said Biff. <coughs> so do I means, 我也是. Do you like the rocking horse too? What else do you see? I see a kite, two dolls, a book, a model boat. Hey, what's under the bed? Yes, a chamber pot. I wonder if it was clean. Victoria took Biff, Chip and Kipper into the little room. Come and see this, she said. What is it? asked Kipper. Do you remember what Biff, Chip and Kipper found in the little room when they first moved in? Yes, they found the little house. Only then they didn't know the house had magic. What was under the sheet? Victoria showed them a little house. She told them that her father was making it for them. It will look like this house, she said. We know, said Biff. How did Biff know? Because it was the same little house Biff had in her room. Now we know who made the little house? But who gave the house magic? Did Biff tell Victoria it was a magic house? No, she didn't. Remember, it was a secret. Edward looked at Chip's watch. And Chip looked at Edward's boat. Do you want to swap? Asked Edward. Yes, please, said Chip. Then I can take the boat to school to show Mrs. May. <laughs> swap means exchange one thing for another. Edward swapped his boat for Chip's watch. Chip swapped his watch for Edward's boat. <laughs> Do you think Edward 
might take the watch to school to show his teacher and friends. Have you swapped things with your friends? <coughs> Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. It's time to go," said Kipper. "But I don't want to." <coughs> Will you come back?" asked Edward. <coughs> "We don't know," said Biff. "Maybe." Do you think Kipper liked this magic adventure? <coughs> yes, he liked it very much. He liked to play with the children so much that he didn't want to go. <coughs> the magic took the children home. They looked at the little house. <gasps> the broken roof has been mended," said Biff. How did that happen? How can you tell the children when back home? That's right. The room looked different. The wallpaper was different. The bed was different. They went back to Biff's room, and Edward's boat became smaller. How did the little house look now? I don't know," said Chip. "Maybe Dad mended it. I think the workman in the adventure did it," said Kipper. "We saw them." <coughs> I think it was magic," said Biff. "Wow, the hole was gone." <coughs> Who do you think mended the roof? Dad, the workman, or magic? I liked that adventure best of all," said Biff. "I liked those children long ago. I'd like to go back and see them again." Me too," said Chip. Looking at the boat, maybe I could get my watch back. Why do you think the children liked this adventure best of all? They had been to Red Planet, the jungle, the lost city made of gold. <laughs> They had met kings and queens, princes and princesses, heroes and pirates. What's so special about this adventure? About these children? If you had a magic key, where would you want to go for an adventure? All right, that's the whole story. Hope you like it. Goodbye. Bonjour, Mo. Yoshima Laya Chuping.